Hello and welcome back to Let's Play James Bond 007 Everything or Nothing with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, uh, whilst we're in New Orleans trying to find uh, Agent Maya Starling, we found out she's being held in the Kiss Kiss Club and well that's where we went to. We went through the Kiss Kiss Club, found Yayakov, tried to save um, Stalin but then she was kidnapped again and stolen away so we're still chasing her down. Um, and now it's time to do a secret bonus mission that is only unlocked when you get 11 gold medals. Um, and it takes place between Kiss Kiss Club and the next mission, uh, Death's Door. So uh, I'll tell you more once we start the actual mission. So here we are, new objective, rescue Maya. Um, and oh, we still got the same life as from last episode as well. That's, that's rough. Uh, I need some ammo. Um, but yeah, basically... There, there is not, there's not too much to this mission because, being a, uh, give me a gun, give me a different gun, uh, give me that one, yeah, being an uh, kind of secret bonus mission, they couldn't really include anything story-wise in here. So basically, you will do this shot for me, Bond. <laughs> it keeps running out of targets. It... Wow. Okay, that failed. Um, don't mind me, guy. I'm just gonna shoot you. In the head, that was a headshot. I'm just gonna stop. That was awful. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing story-wise in this in this game. In in case people didn't get the eleven golds and didn't unlock this mission, so it's basically almost as if it doesn't exist. Uh, it just bridges Bond uh, leaving the Kiss Kiss Club and going to the place in the next level. So I think that's a pretty cool idea. It's you you know you don't miss it if you don't unlock it. Uh, but if you do well and you do get lots of golds, you're rewarded for it, and you, you get to get a little bit like a of action, a little bit of bonus action in terms of this game. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I have a feeling I should just die to get my health back, but that's lame. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. So, hmm, but they have two ways to go here. Oh, there is actually armor through there. We come out there eventually. Um, we could go through that door, or we could use this little vent down here and use. Do, 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 do. Oh, I went past it. Uh, the Q spider. Nope. There we go. And he can go through here, little fella. Little cute fella. Come through here. And now we have the detonate ability for our Q spiders. We come in here. And we do this. Goodbye. <laughs> he had no chance. Oh, and that's opened up a door for us. A, well, it is a door. Maybe not the most um, normal of doors, but it is one. So this bit, what I like to do is not die, change weapon to something better, like the MP5K, and um, wait for all the guys to come to me, because they do. Eventually they do. They See, they, sometimes they run off, but they'll make their way here. And, by the way, it's better to do it this way, um, because then... Um, you know, they, they sort of bottleneck to the same point. So you could go through the door, but then you'd be shooting with different, you know, openings and you could get flanked and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I prefer doing it this way. I think there's still going to be some more, yeah. You know, you'd think they'd learn after the first few people died, not just, just run straight towards me. But no, they don't. So the enemies, like I mentioned before, sometimes they're clever with stealth and sometimes they're really dumb. Um, you never know which one you're going to get. These ones are quite dumb. I really want to run in there and grab some armour. The armour's exactly where that guy is now, in the back. In the black. Let's go. Let's just sneak forward. Yeah, let's go quickly. Run, 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 run. Grab that armour there. And run back. Oh no. He's got a shotgun. We need to run away. <laughs> we need to run back. We've got a little bit more health now, though. So we'll wait for him to come round. This is not the, the funnest way of doing it, but as soon as we get that shotgun, we can have a little bit more fun. In fact, we have got a shotgun already, haven't we? Now we can get some more ammo for it. Grab some of this ammo. That spaz ammo, thank you. Alright, here we go. Run a gun. Oi, don't you be hiding from me. Oh, he is as well. Look at this guy. Where are you going now? What are you doing? Whoa. 
Oh no. Bond's getting beaten up. It's a good thing this is a bonus mission, because Bond's sucking. Um, but yeah, because this is bonus... Oh no. Uh, because this is bonus, that means there are no Bond moments. So I don't have to worry about those. That's always nice. Um... Oh man, that was brutal. I think there is some more armor around here somewhere. Armor. This was the other way you could go through the door. Oh, no, there isn't. Okay, this is it. Fine. Fine. They just don't stop coming. It really is just flat out shoot this one. Just shoot everything that moves. Uh, I can't really take any cover around here. So it's sort of like the older Bond games where it's just, you know, like Goldeneye, I suppose. It's just shooting people. And there are some side objectives with um, Goldeneye, but for the most part, you climb into toilets and you shoot people. So there you go. Actually, speaking of Goldeneye, um, and speaking of Pierce Brosnan, Pierce Brosnan recently did a, uh, a Reddit Ask Me Anything, like a sort of question and answers interview. And it was actually really interesting. I think he's currently doing the rounds um, with his new film that's coming out called November Man. I'm going to run and grab that arm up. Okay, good. Yeah, November Man, which is sort of another spy one. It's like his first time doing a spy film since Bond. So, there's a lot of hoo-ha about it at the moment. Kill him. There we go. And I think he was on a, uh, a US chat show as well. Jimmy Kimmel? No, it wasn't Jimmy. Um, the new... Oh, what's his name? I don't like him, but I can't remember what his name is. One of them. And uh, they, he made him... <laughs> he made Pierce Brosnan play GoldenEye 64 with him. Which is pretty funny, apart from the fact that, as you would expect, Pierce Brosnan is awful. You know, he's like 60 years old. Of course he's going to be awful at video games. And uh, yeah, he could not like he was doing that thing where it's like they go from one extreme to the other, like every like all the parents do when they pick up a analog stick controller, and he had no idea what's going on. So bless him, he tried. Um, I'm really trying to think of that guy's name, but it's bugging me. Nope, it's gone, it's gone. But that was interesting. So he did that, and uh, yeah, he did the AMA where he was saying some stuff about Bond, like. Uh, Surprise, surprise, his favourite Bond film that he did is Goldeneye. No question, that is the best Pierce Brosnan one. And that his favourite Bond film in general is... Ooh! Ho -ho, Goldfinger. Which, again, is not really a surprise. That's a lot of people's favourites. It's a classic. It's, it's no Roger Moore, but I've got to say, it's a, it's a classic Goldfinger. Uh, I'm just currently just, you know, running around, picking up ammo, trying not to die. Uh, but there is no more armour. Damn. Right, let's go then. Let's go. Oh, I know someone's going to come and flank me. Oh. Okay, there's the armour from um, from the other side of that fence. Let's grab it. Ooh. Get rid of these guys. See, this guy's like right where we were. We were just on that side and you weren't there. Where did you come from, guy? Now I believe, yeah, that's the end of the mission right there. Not a very long one at all. Yep, there you go. So uh, underworld, very, very literal. Just the underworld of that that uh, building, you know, all the sort of little alleyways and things, and just filled of guards. Um, let's have a look at our score. Not that it matters. Enemy subdued, twenty-five. Uh, Weapon accuracy, 50, awful. Efficiency, awful. Duration, probably really bad, yeah. <laughs> Two minutes for that. Mind you, it is really short. Um, yep, so I suppose with an LP, it's going to be longer. That's fine. Let's have a look. Yep, no no, uh, no award for that, like I mentioned, because it's bonus. So I'll quickly save and cut forward. Alrighty then, so there's a save over and done with. Oh, and by the way, the chat show was Jimmy Fallon. That's the one. Jimmy Fallon made him play Golden Eye 64. And, uh, and promptly beat him, I think. So, um, there is Underworld done. Odd mission, but it's a, it's a nice sort of break. It's just pure shooting, I suppose. You know, you've got all the, 
the uh, the vehicles and all that sort of stuff. And then it's just plain shooting for a little bit. And it's short, so it doesn't outstay its welcome. Anyway, Death's Door is the next mission, and I really like this one. This has got a really nice atmosphere to this level, and it's also kind of creepy, but it's where we save Agent Starling. So until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye! <laughs>